Welcome to Samaritics. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to extract and cut the fluid volume of a spool valve. The resulting STL surfaces will then be exported to pump links and meshed with the push of a button. This new feature in SpaceClaim provides a natural and seamless continuation of the model generation process using pump links. In order for you to get an idea of where we're going and how we'll get there, let me describe briefly uh, what, what the objective is. In space claim, we will have STL surfaces of a spool valve, and we will prepare the surfaces for use in Sumerics. So we'll prepare the surfaces in space claim and export and grid them automatically after we launch Sumerics from space claim. We will then apply boundary conditions in our later tutorials and run it and post process it. So that's the objective. The first step is to extract the fluid volume. This is the, the housing for the spool valve and we're interested in the interior surfaces or the fluid volume. This is the spindle and it, it will be allowed to move back and forth along the Z direction where a high pressure fluid enters the valve and presses against the lower face of this valve pushing it to the right. There's a spring that's not seen in this chamber that resists. So the position of this valve spindle is determined by the force balance between the spring and the pressure forces due to the fluid. As this spindle moves up, the fluid is allowed to flow through this to the low pressure side and then exit out this outlet. So we first extract this volume in space flame. Then the next step is to split the fluid volumes. The reason why we have to split this is because of this motion of the spindle. These volumes will be expanded and compressed. So when, once we split them, we'll have this is a separate volume which can be compressed or expanded and this and this. These are annular volumes which can accordion as this spindle travels back and forth. This spool travels back and forth. The next place we have to cut this is here and here so that we end up with volumes here and here. These are expandable and compressible. This is a rigid fluid volume. This and this are also expandable regions. Then once we apply boundary conditions and run it, and we see, you can see you can output all sorts of data here. And in the end, after post-processing, then you can you get an animation which shows you the results. Here are the CAD surfaces of the spool valve as seen in space clay. Now we'll extract the fluid volume. Go to volume extract. Pick the surfaces that surround the inlet and outlet and pick an interior surface to seed. And here we have the fluid volume. So I'll temporarily turn off the CAD surfaces. I'm going to take a, an X cut of this so we can see what's inside. And there's the X cut. And now we're going to split this volume since the, the spindle will be moving back and forth in the Z direction. These surfaces here will be sliding along here and these volumes have to be allowed to contract. So we'll have to split it along here. A, a projection of the spindle diameter across here, the largest diameter, will split it all the way down. So we go into split body, select the body, Select this piece here. This is the spindle outer diameter. And we can see it cut along here and here. So now we have this volume here for compression and expansion and also here and here. We'll need to split it here and here as well to isolate these areas here. We'll select the little annular region and on the other side as well. And now we have all our cuts that we need. Now in space claim you can also name surfaces so that when they're imported into pump links they won't have to be split off because if you tag it in space claim then it automatically knows to to keep that surface for example this surface here this is an outlet and if we go into 3d we can select that and then name it as outlet and now we won't have to split this off this surface off here in pump links because it will have come in as a separate stl surface that's one advantage of naming it all in space claim. There's a lot less splitting and recombining operations that have to perform if you do all the naming in space claim first. Let's name our, our volumes. All of these volumes will be named. I'll just name one just to show you how it's done. 
just left click on it and then right click and then highlight rename and this happens to be the low pressure chamber if we skip ahead to a version that already has all the renaming done so this is all the named volumes and one other thing you can do in space claim is to control the mesh size you have the cell size on the surface and the maximum cell size that you can control so you can refine or unrefine um, picked surfaces so now let's launch sumerics and mesh Here is our model in pump links. Here are the CAD surfaces. We don't need these anymore unless we were going to do some remeshing in pump links. But in this case, we don't need to. So I'll just put that away. And here are the corresponding volumes. Each one has boundaries associated with it, which later we'll all have to be renamed if we decide to split this up any further and remesh it. But in this case, our mesh is, is good. Let's take a look at the mesh, create a cross section. And this is a good grid. So now we're ready to apply boundary conditions, which we'll do in a later tutorial. In conclusion, I showed how to extract the fluid volume, how to cut it along sliding planes, and how to rename the different volumes. Then I showed how to launch Sumerics and import the CAD surfaces into pump links and mesh it automatically.